Kentucky, everyone. I'm in the studio with a good buddy of mine, JP, and we're talking all about, I call it edging. Am I using the wrong terminology here, my friend? No, not really. Um, you can call it whatever you like. It's basically just graphic art yeah. in hair. So well, however you like to say it, um, okay. I, just, I consider it art. Uh, well, it is art. And let me say, I come into your barber shop and I talk all about, all the time, I'm watching everyone do this sort of work. Everyone knows at home that I was a hairdresser back home in Australia. I find this fascinating. And I think you're one of the most amazing barbers that when you're working and doing all the edging around the hair, mm -hmm. that when I started to watch your Instagram page and watch all this type of art that you're doing, how do you know what to do? Do, the, do people bring in an image or a picture or what are they doing? Uh, a lot of time people, they will bring in an image and say, can you do this? And uh, most of the time I can do it. Sometimes it's a little bit more difficult to do it, but you know, I'm just starting out. But yeah, most of the time I can do it. Okay, so when you see this sort of work, you can see on the side here how you start with making sure that you've got the short back and sides, right? Yes. Okay, then what is the next step? Um, then you kind of do an outline of the design, uh, just so that you can fit it all in the right area. And then you come through after that, and uh, you do your fading and do the detailed work. And at the end, sometimes you can put a color enhancement in it. It kind of makes Ooh. the design pop out some. Um, a lot of people like it. It's not for everyone, but we do offer that as well. Um, okay, I understand. And when I was looking through your Instagram page, what's your Instagram page again? It's uh, Bambino underscore the barber. That's what we like to see. Head over to there because you were talking about colour. And I've seen you actually do some colour on some of these designs. But I was also looking at it would be for sporting events, for your favourite football team, your favourite hockey team, your yeah. favourite basketball team. Mm -hmm. Do you get a lot of requests come the finals? Yes. <laughs> I, did, uh, I did the Patriots design for the Super Bowl. Kids that come in, they get their, their school designs. Yeah. Do, I do a lot of those. Okay. Of That's something I wanted to ask you. You say kids come in for school design. I would assume, do schools, are they okay with these type of designs on their kids or does it only happen in the school holidays? Um, I would say we do a lot of uh, we do a lot of designs before uh, they go back to school. Oh, really? So, yeah, I, I don't really know. Um, <laughs> you just do it anyway, JP. I, I do want to ask you a question. When you are looking for a great barber, okay, what do you think is the most important thing to look for when you go searching for a barber? Uh, they have to be willing to learn, uh, continue their education. Yeah because styles don't stay the same. And uh, a lot of the new styles aren't in Lexington. So you have to be willing to like search and continue your education. Yeah. Go to hair shows, uh, stay online, watch tutorials. So if they have that, if they have the passion to, to continue to learn to get better, then they're probably gonna be a good barber. In okay. The when you're doing these sorts of designs, I'm just going to turn him around and you can see the back here, how you're edging into that now. Would you call it fading or edging? What's the word? Right word? Uh, this, this right here would be considered fading. Okay. Where you go from a gradual blend uh, to a longer bl blend. This right here is just, you can call it edging. Uh, we just oh. use a trimmer, so. Okay. Now, how long does this get to take? You're going to be here the whole show. We're going to keep coming back to you okay. and seeing where you're at. You under, you're, you're all right for that? Yeah, Not too much pressure? No. <laughs> I am a little nervous, but uh, this usually takes about 45 minutes to an hour. Okay. All right. So how do you think we're coping? I'm good. <laughs> He's good. It's okay. All right. Well, if you watch, stay watching for the rest of the show, everyone. JP is going to continue to work, and I think he does one of the best fades in Lexington. So I think you're amazing. Stick with us, everyone. You're watching Midday Kentucky.